Hello guys, welcome back. In today's Excel VBA videos, we are going to continue our discussion from the previous video itself in which we started our discussion about the name property. And also we are going to discuss another property of the sheets in today's video. So let's start. This is our screen from the previous video itself where we created a macro named as name sheets. And in this macro, we provided some code which was used to rename a sheet. So in the previous video, we talked about how can we add a sheet with a custom name and how can we rename an existing sheet. Okay. So these were the two things that uh, we talked about in the previous video. In today's video, what we are going to see is what are the other applications of this name property of the worksheets. Okay. Now this name property is not only used to assign a simple name to a particular sheet, but it can also be used to get the name of the sheets. It is a two way property, which means that it can be used to set the name of the sheets. And on the other hand, it can also be used to get the name of the sheets. So up till now, we were using this name property to set the name of a particular sheet. But what happens if you want to get the names of a particular sheet, then also you can use this name property. So the question is, how can we do that? So let's see. Let us just clear this line of code. And if we just right click over here, then you can get this activate menu. And in this activate menu, you will get all the names of the sheets that are present in the current workbook. Okay, so uh, from here we can find out the position of a particular sheet. And if you want to use the name property for uh, getting the name of the sheet, then uh, you must use the position for that purpose. Okay, so suppose I want to know that what is the name of the sheet that is at the second position in my workbook, then what code do I need to write? Okay, so let us uh, jump to our VB. Uh, actually, the uh, name is renamed sheet. That's what we are uh, hoping to get. So let us go to our VB code. And here we first need to type in the worksheet function. Okay, so just type in worksheets within the parenthesis provided with the index that is two. close the parenthesis and put a dot. Now, after the dot, you need to write the name of the property, which is nothing but the name property. Okay. So name, this would help you to get the name of the sheet. Since we are not using the equals operator, we are not assigning it to anything. So VB would itself recognize that right now, what we want to do is get the name of the sheet that is present at the second position. Now it would give us a name, but we need to store the name at some place or we need to uh, show it to the user in some way. So one way to do that is use a message box. A message box we have already seen is uh, a kind of a box that shows you some kind of information. It shows you some kind of a message. So let's just write the message box for that message box. What is the code? Let us write it over here. Uh, you simply need to type in the word message box that is M S G B O X message box and within parenthesis you need to provide what value uh, you want over here. So what value do I want? I want this particular value, this whole value. Okay. So let us just cut this piece of code from here and paste it over here. So what this code says that whatever is the name of the sheet, which is present at the second position must be displayed in the form of a message box using this piece of code. Okay. So let us just run it. And when we run it, you can see uh, that in Microsoft Excel, this is a thing shown over here. This is actually known as a message box. And in the message box, what message do we get is the name of that sheet. And now you can click on OK. And this is the exact function of message box. But whenever you are trying to access the name of a sheet, it is not a very good practice to use a message box. The reason why it would show the sheet name in the form of a message and you cannot copy that name or you cannot use that name anywhere else. OK, so uh, what you can do is simply use a particular cell 
and in that cell you can uh, store the value of that particular sheet so for that purpose what do we need to do is first access the particular cell and we have been working with cells for a pretty long time now so we know that to access the cell simply we can use the range function within double quotes in the parenthesis we need to provide the name of the cell so suppose i want it to be displayed in a5 and you put a dot and provide it with a value operator so put a tab equals now what value we need to provide is worksheets to dot name so you can either type the code or i am simply using it as copy and paste it okay so let's see uh, what happens right now so just press the f8 which is the shortcut for the step into function first this uh, line of code would be executed which would show us a message box yes we get this message box you can simply click on okay and then if we again press f8 then you can see that in the cell number a5 we have got the name of the sheet which is nothing but renamed sheet and you can just again press f8 to execute to complete the execution on the macro so uh, this was how you can uh, put your sheet name in a cell now there is one more thing that you need to know about the message box that if we just try to run it again if we try to run this uh, piece of code again then what happens is we have got this message box now uh, while this message box is open if we try to click anywhere else then you can see it gives us that ding from the computer which means that we cannot use any of the functions of microsoft excel while this message box is open which is again a drawback for us and that is why it is not advisable to use a message box and that is why you can obviously use a cell to display the name of the sheets until and unless you click on ok you cannot use any of the functions of microsoft excel or vb so this is what a drawback is so uh, now you can just ok just press the f8 function f8 function so we get our sheet over here and that's how you can uh, actually uh, use the multiple sheets we just showed the name of a single sheet but if you want to show the name of multiple sheets suppose you need to use the range function and show the name of any other sheet so simply you can just type it suppose in the cell number b5 uh, you want to show the name of some other sheet the sheet that is present at position 3 you can simply write worksheets on position 3 dot name is what you want to do so let's just clear up this piece of code of message box and let us run it using the step into function again so that you are able to understand it first this line of code is executed but no change is shown because it is already present over there then again if we press f8 then you can see custom name which is the name of the sheet that is present at the first position actually is shown over here okay now you can just open it by right clicking over here and you can see over here that what happens here okay uh, you can just see that custom name and renamed name and similarly using this option you can access as many sheets as you want so that was about how you can use the name property to get the names of the particular sheet in microsoft excel now uh, what happens is uh, once you have got the names of the sheet this was actually all about the name property and now we have another property uh, with us and this property helps us to copy the sheets from one place to another so um, basically what a copy function do we all know that it copies the data from one place to another we can copy the data of the cells simply using the control c and control v function but what if we need to copy the whole sheet or um, uh, we need to move the whole sheet then what we can do this is the exact procedure that we need to follow uh, so instead of the vb first of all let us look at what are the steps in microsoft excel for the copy function if you want to copy um, any sheet suppose this is the rename sheet uh, this is what i need to copy okay actually uh, yeah this is the rename sheet that i want to copy and okay actually this renamed sheet is what i want to copy i want to create a copy of this renamed sheet 
ओके सो वॉट कैन आई डू इज यूज राइट क्लिक वो ह्यो एंड देर इज दिस ऑप्शन ऑफ मूव और कॉपी सो यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर ऑप्शन इज वॉट आई नीड टू कॉपी इट ओके सो दिस इज सिंपल using microsoft excel but in the next video we are going to see that how can we use this option using the visual basic code so that is all for today's video and i hope you all have enjoyed it you must have learned something new and stay tuned for the next video to learn about the copy function thank you